Hey guys, it's DC here, and today I want to talk to you about red team slash blue team cybersecurity lab ideas for students or anyone really. So welcome back to another video. Uh, as I said, I want to talk about some different lab ideas for anyone out there who wants to sort of build their own home lab or maybe like a, a lab that they could uh, present in a class at university or something like that or have as part of their cybersecurity team. Now these are sort of like anyone could basically do it so don't stress out too much it's it's something it's more like an idea you just sort of have to figure out how to do it yourself. Now the first one is actually one that someone was talking to me about a couple of weeks ago and then I thought about it and tried it myself and it I found it it was actually probably the best lab I've ever done so I want to tell you about that one first it is the two Raspberry Pi's attack and defense lab. So the idea is you have one Raspberry Pi here, this is the Mr. Offensive, and over here you have Raspberry Pi number two, that is Mr. Defensive, right? It's pretty simple. This one is all about blue team, so it's logging everything that's going through. It's got little firewall controls on it, policy rules, a few open ports, all that sort of good stuff. The main point here though, is that you've got full monitoring of everything going in and out of that device. The offensive guy over here, you really wanna see what you can break, right? So with this one, you're going with the offensive tools. You're loading up Ghidra, you're doing all that Metasploit good stuff, right? And mapping the hell out of that other one. And you're just seeing what you can hit and what it shows up. And if there are any vulnerabilities, which, or even holes, just like network port holes, you see what's going on there and you can do like a little attack defense. Now, if there's more than one person participating in this lab, then obviously you can do a live actual attack and defense. So attack, 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 defense, defense, try and, you know, get some flags against each other or something similar to a king of the hill, except way more versatile. You've got so much more control. The flags are not predefined, which is my only real big issue with king of the hill. Um, and it like you can't automate a flag that you don't know exists. So yeah, that's 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 my first idea on uh, a, a really cool, fairly inexpensive lab that you can create with your yourself or your friends or whatever. Now, the second lab idea was more around a defensive position. It's more that blue team type work. And the reason I wanted to throw it in here is because it is such a huge part of cybersecurity. Every organization that has any cybersecurity controls would be doing something similar to this already anyway. So why not learn about it before you potentially get a job? Or if you already have a job and you're not too sure how it works, this is a great way to find out. Now you don't need a Raspberry Pi for this. You can use a virtual machine, a really old computer, whatever you want. But basically what you're doing is throwing PFSense on there. So have a look at Google and find PFSense and how that works and how to install it in a VM or on your local machine or on a Raspberry Pi. And then have a, a sinkhole, essentially, like a DNS hole to sink all the traffic. Now, if you watch my video on the honeypot, which was literally me doing exactly this on a live environment, this is something that I use all the time. It's really useful to sync DNS, especially if you're getting absolutely hammered. And it's also really good if you need to basically just clear out the noise that comes across on a network when you're you're using a network. Like if, if someone is attacking you and they're absolutely hammering your network, a DNS sync is super useful just for basically clearing out the noise, not so much just for, you know, helping you to defend yourself. Now, the reason of the PFSense firewall is just because it's free. If you have a firewall solution already or something better than that, then by all means use that instead. But yeah, the, the purpose of that firewall is obviously to see what's coming in on that network. And you can use this on any home network. It's kind of fun to use, definitely more secure than what you probably don't already have. It is for sure more secure than a home router's firewall, which has almost no control, if any. And yeah, just sort of watch what's going on, sync all the rubbish traffic, you'll be much safer afterwards. Now, the third one is actually not so much a control at all, but more a way of automation. So with this one, I'm thinking a, a very simple lab is to jump on Zapier or IFF or whatever the one, that other one is called, I can't remember it, and basically create some automation alerts. Now this is something that is actually used all the time and it is a very, very simple way to get started with API calls and all that good stuff on, on the whole JSON side of the world. The reason I'm, I'm bringing this one up is because I want to sort of segue into script kitties and skids and, and you know, basically stealing other people's ideas. Now it's, 
not illegal to go on GitHub and find a script that already works and then make it your own. That's not illegal. It's You're not going against the rules and I don't think anyone actually cares if you're a skid or not because everyone does it. I do it all the time. I don't write my own scripts. I can't be bothered. And people out there have already written better scripts than I could ever write. So why would I bother spending so much time and energy into writing a script that I know someone else has almost definitely made or at least made a similar version that I can then edit and make my own version because that's that's actually what I do. I don't write my own scripts. I never really have. I'm owning up to it. I'm a skid, guys. <laughs> I'm a skid, guys. But the, the point here is that I'm trying to make is that it's not a bad thing and it's not a bad way to learn either. I think without having all of those uh, much smarter people out there who have written their own uh, scripts and automations that I probably wouldn't have been able to write my own after going through and, and doing that because it's I just that's the way I learn is by actually using someone else's thing and then basically making a copy of it and then editing it and changing bits and adding other bits in and making this huge big script and it doesn't make any sense anymore and I should have just kept it as little bits and you just go through this whole other thought process that you never really have when you just sit there with a blank screen you write okay I'm gonna write a script and you start tapping away and it's it's just not the same I think it's for me anyway it's much easier for me to learn from someone who else who's already gone through writing that script they've written this mad big script out right and then you can see the bits almost after a little while of recognizing script you can see where they've gone no 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 this bit is is silly i'm going to add this big chunk here instead and there's there's apps just there's nothing wrong with taking other people's scripts do it jump on that have a look at tom nom nom scripts he's uh, amazing even stoke has some really cool scripts and i'm pretty sure he also takes some of tom nom nom scripts so hey you know you do whatever you want but if you want to save some time and energy use someone else's script Make some you know little changes here and there to make it your own version and to suit the environment that you're working in. And yeah, go from there. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. As always, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later, guys. Hello everyone, I just wanted to say that DC CyberSec is the best YouTuber in the world. He is best hacker in the world. He is best at everything in the world. Please smash that like button and please make sure to subscribe and please turn on post notifications.